show your support, like, share and subscribe. Hello, I am That British Guy and welcome back to the channel. Today we try out another one of my purchases from the Norwich Gaming Market and I am very very excited about this, not just because of this game but because it means I've got a functioning SNES again. All oh, the joy, the SNES works, yay! I will be playing through Super Mario Kart, the original, released in 1992. So let's just crack on, shall we? Right, we are racing as Toad for the 100cc, so sort of medium speed or medium difficulty. And we're having a go at the um, Mushroom Grand Prix, the kind of starter one. Come on, muscle memory. I've had this game. Well, I say I've had this game. I had a version of this game years and years and years and years and years ago. And I've got no idea what ever happened to it. Damn it. Oh, I've got someone. <laughs> Eat my green shell. Nice try, princess. Stop firing stupid mushroom things at me. Ah, I think she hit herself. That's a lap for my teammate here, Cooper. Last lap, come on. Get another couple of them coins. No, 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 no. Bad. Very bad. Don't do that. Get out my way! Yes! Victory! Now my normal opponent that I have to face is usually Princess. But the way this game works is if there's a change in the first race, which there has been, this will tend to be the kind of default finishing every single race now. So most of my challenge will come from Donkey Kong Mario and Yoshi instead of Princess Peach which is weird I know each different driver that you drive as kind of has different rivals but yeah if for whatever reason in that very first race no matter what level you're at or what uh, tracks you're doing if you manage to kind of screw up one of your rivals and they finish quite low then that's sort of where she will finish unless something very untoward happens she will now finish sort of fifth pretty much most of the time Stop. Oh, now I've got instead of stupid little mushrooms where I can get squashed I've now got to worry about banana skins being thrown at me what would have been quite nice is when you're racing as certain characters they you were able to use the items that they use against you Haha, <laughs> gotcha like Yoshi's eggs or um, Bowser has like a fireball and um, yeah the princess uses like a mushroom thing go away Mario now you're gonna go invincible on me because some of them are items that you can use, like Mario and Luigi essentially have a star and they can then, they're sort of impervious to any damage. Or Donkey Kong, as you see, has banana skins. See now, look, Donkey Kong has used all that time to get back into second. Unless he hits that. Damn it. Well, Mario hits it, so that could be interesting. That might allow Princess to get back into fourth but no she's already been passed. Uh, go away donkey Kong. Hey there we go. Boom! Oh and Yoshi beats Mario because he didn't have enough time to get all the way back round into third. Interesting. But yeah fifth through to uh, eighth the same as per before. So yeah the only swap around is Mario and Yoshi. 
fourth place and a third place each. Everyone else finishes in basically the same place. Right. Do not fall off the edges. Go! Please don't let me hit them now on the way round. Worst thing. Oh, I got rid of my... My skin. Oh, that's far too wide. Why did I put that there? That was ridiculous. Oh, oh, oh lucky. Come on, give me a feather. That's the only problem when you're in the lead, you get less and less items. But you do tend to get coins, which is handy, because the more coins you have, the faster you end up going. Go on, someone hit something. Come on, someone hit something! Nothing, man. Very poor. Coming up on Cooper again. Come hit that. Dare ya. Anyone? No one? Well, that was a pretty uneventful race. Everyone just stuck to their positions and nobody hit anything. Ah, oh, that's a shame. Oh well, that's sometimes the way. Never mind. Three races in, three victories in. Come on. I'm pretty sure as well. Because you have to finish in the points in order to not lose a life. So in order to continue, I've got to at least finish fourth, which will give me a point. So if I win this next race, I think then, as long as I finish fourth, I've won the Grand Prix, I think. Don't quote me on that, though. Oh, I can never get that timing right. If you time that just right, you get like a speed start. But do it too early, and you... Uh, you get screwed essentially. Now these swamps are remaining up for the first lap, but as soon as I cross the line they will start slamming themselves ah, onto the ground. So if they hit me, they will either block my path or they will squash me. very helpful shadow so as long as you avoid the shadows ah he says avoid the shadows and you should be okay but obviously I didn't manage to do that because I'm a bit of an idiot ah oh stop thwomping me <laughs> Toad really got it in for princess in this round of races Hey, in the lava, good. Get in the bin. More coins, yeah. Excellent, goodbye Mario. Come on. Come on, we can do this. It's probably the tightest race we've had, maybe since the second one. The second one felt quite tight. Yeah. Don't, are oh, you? Damn you! Give me a red shell. I've got to be careful. Because what I don't want to do is accidentally jump into the lava. Ah, no! Oh, you idiot! Oh, I was so, con like, so concerned with jumping that swamp and not landing in the lava that I mucked up my corner in. Damn it! I was hoping for a clean sweep then. No, can't get 45 points. Right, I'm six points ahead, so... as long as I finish third... yeah, that makes sense. Because even if Donkey Kong wins and I finish third, because I've won three races and he will have only won two races, I technically win. 
Yeah, speed star. That's what we wanted. I'm trying to do that the whole time. Perfect place for this. Now, if I leave this and somebody doesn't quite manage to go over this jump correctly, usually they're forever in a loop. Oh, damn it, they all missed it. They're forever in a loop of trying to get round and missing for the whole rest of the race, so they never actually manage to complete a lap, which is quite... I'm not even sure how I managed to find that out. I think it was probably more luck than anything else. But yeah, if you put something there, they tend to then not make that jump. Damn you! Damn you, Mario! And yeah, because they then constantly... Come on, needs to be ahead of him. Yeah, they just spend eternity. Ah, you son of a... Ah, there we go. Mario's done it. He hit my shell. Bowser might do it as well. Does Mario make it over? No. Oh, damn it! Ba oh, come on. Fourth. Right, so holding onto this red shell. Ah, oh, Mario made it over. That's annoying. Maybe it's only in the first lap that that happens. Gotcha. Ah. Oh well, I'm still going to be three points ahead of him. That's the main thing. Ah, never mind. Three points ahead of him though. He only won two races. I won three and finished second twice, so still ahead of him. Yeah, look, there's Mario missing again. wonder if he misses again or if he just misses. Oh, we don't get to see it. Yeah, there we go. Absolutely screwed. <laughs> Unlucky. Oh, well, Princess managed to get some points. There we go. Three-point victory. The work was done nice and early on. Hey, big fish for some reason. Mushroom clouds, not that kind, in the sky. There's my trophy, and bang goes the fish. Yay, winner. Congratulations. 100cc Mushroom Cup race. Toad wins the gold. Great race. And there we have it. There is a lovely big slice of my childhood relived in Super Mario Kart on the SNES. Thank you Norwich Gaming Market for having it there at a sensible price so that I could purchase it. And because I do purchase it, I am putting the challenge out to you, Pokey Pidge. We now have between us every single mainline Mario Kart game, starting with this one. Next collaboration series, Mario Kart Through the Years, starting here on the snares and ending with Mario Kart on the Switch. Bring it on!